What's up guys, today I'm going to show you this really cool fly through mask effect. This is basically a really basic version of the effect that is used in ASAP Rocky's new music video. So this shot right here is just a still video clip and the first thing I'm going to do is actually freeze frame the part of the shot I want to use. I'm going to select the clip, hold down shift and press H. I'm then going to extend it because I want a nice long freeze frame. So now we have our long freeze frame. What I'm going to do is go over to the effects tab, go to masks and I'm going to use the draw mask tool. And then I'm just going to mask out the screen right here. So I'm just going to add these points. And then what I'm going to do is click invert mask and that has cut out the screen. And now what I'm going to do is go over here to the crop tool and then I'm going to click Ken Burns. And what I'm going to do is grab this start box and make this fit inside of the mask that I've just drawn. So inside the black area on this uh, phone screen, just like that. And then the end square, this is where the shot is going to zoom out to. You can leave it like full screen or you can actually go a bit bigger because in the end, once you overlap all of these, you won't actually see the edges and it's actually going to make the effect a bit better because it will make it look like this phone is going further into the distance. Okay, so, so now if we overlay this on my video clip, you can see that you get the effect we're going for. And yeah, that's basically the effect. Now all you have to do is do that on multiple different shots and overlap them. So I'll do one more, this shot right here. What I'm going to do is freeze frame, press shift and H, make this nice and long. I'm going to add the draw mask tool. On this one, I'm going to draw around one of the lenses. I'm going to zoom in a bit for this one. And if you click and hold, you can smooth out these points. So they're nice and rounded to fit the sunglasses. Just like that. Click invert on the draw mask. Let's go out to fit and then go to the crop tool, go to Ken Burns and then get the star box and just put that inside of the masked out area. So just like that. And then the end one, make sure this is either the same size of the, of the shot or a bit bigger. So just like that. And then overlap that over the previous one. So just like that. And then actually on this sunglasses one, what I'm gonna do is just turn down the fill opacity a little bit. So it still looks like we have the reflection from the glasses. Uh, I think that adds a nice touch. We might even, no, we'll leave that. So the last part of this, I'm actually gonna use a video clip. So this one's gonna be a little bit harder. I'm going to have to add the mask and then track it a little bit to the eye. But because this shot is pretty steady, it's, it was shot on a gimbal, it's actually not going to be too hard to do. So what I'm going to do is add draw mask effect. Let's zoom into the eye. And what I found better with doing the eye transition was actually making the mask a bit bigger than the eye and then turning up the feather. I'm going to click invert. And then I'm actually going to turn the feather right down just like that. And then the fall off also right down. And then what I'm going to do is click transform. I'm going to hit all of these keyframe buttons. So position, rotation, scale, and also control points. And then what I'm going to do is use arrow keys to skip back and forward frames to track this to the eye. So it's actually not going to take too much work because it was shot on a gimbal. So it's pretty good. Okay, so now if we go back, that's nicely tracked to the eye. And then I'm going to zoom out again and go to the crop tool, go to the Ken Burns effect and put this start box really small into the eye like that. And then the end one, I'm going to make exactly the same size as my screen because this is going to be my end shot right here. 
Okay, so that's how it looks with the Ken Burns added on. And what I'm actually going to do is add a cross dissolve transition to the start of this because the Ken Burns doesn't quite go that small. So what I'm going to do is just overlap this on my two other shots. Move it a bit further forward if you want it to come on a bit later. So that actually looks really good. What I'm going to do is as this shot fades on, I'm going to turn up the opacity of the mask so that the shot behind the eye slowly fades off. So I'm going to go to about here. I'm going to hit the fill opacity keyframe. And then I'm going to move forward, I'd say around about there, and just turn down the op opacity right to zero. So now as this shot slowly pulls out, the opacity just sort of fades off like that and it returns back to the normal shot. So let's have a look at all of that from the beginning. So yeah, that's the effect. Um, actually really simple to do. And it's going to look really good once you've color graded it, once you add all of the letterbox and stuff like that. So the next video I'm going to release on this channel will probably be the editing competition. So hopefully I'll get that done in a few days. So look out for that if you want to enter the editing competition. I've also started up another channel where I want to get more into the filmmaking side of things, maybe like a vlog channel or something like that. I'll leave the link in the description. If it gets a lot of interest, then I'll start uploading straight away and put out some really cool videos for you guys. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this one and I'll see you in the next video.